Well, Sheriff, where are we tonight? We're at Nottingham. Nottingham Theatre. Theatre. One of the theatres in Nottingham. Built in 1865. This is why the premiere is on on Sunday. That's why we're not in it. No. So here we are. Here we are. Hey. We're in, we're, in our, we're in our royal box. So that's the reason we're not in the chat tonight, folks. But uh, yeah, let's just give a quick show you around. At the moment, Shell, the time is quarter past seven. And uh, there's the stage. That's where we're sitting, people. Look, right near the front of the stage in one of the uh, balconies, which we call the royal box. And there's quite a few people in here. And it's one, two, three tiers. Look, it goes right up to the top there. Although there is no one in the top tier. Jimmy said that one was closed off. Eh? That was closed off when he went to put the tickets. Oh, oh was it? Yeah. yeah. And that's unusual, people. Look, you've actually got seats around the back there. I don't know what that's for. Who told you? You said it's choir. for the choir, Sharon. No, they don't just do, they do different shows, did not they? Of course they do. So, there you go. That's where we are tonight, folks. And um, I don't know where we're going to be after the show, do we? We don't know what's coming up this week, do we? No, we don't. We haven't made up our mind yet. Yeah, but you will be joining us on a journey this week. Who knows what it could be? So we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Oh, well, here we are. It's the next day after our concert, Sharon. Oh, what a great show. That was a very good show, wasn't it? Yeah, I the, really uh... enjoyed it. Well done, Jimmy, for inviting us. Yeah. So that was us in Nottingham yesterday. And I think we had about 1,200 people in the chat on the premiere. Yeah, thank you, everybody. So thank you all for turning up still. And also thanks uh, for our moderators for keeping it running and saying hello to all the come newcomers and the people coming into the chat as well. So thank you very much, you moderators. You've done a fantastic job. Yes, you did. So we've got a little bit of... Well, our days change all the time, Sharon, don't they? We've um, had a phone call from uh, our relative who needs to go to the hospital again, so we're going to have to... Uh, take her to the hospital. We've sorted your brother out as well. We've just my brother phoned up at sort of half past eight this morning. He wanted some shopping, so we've just done that for him, and we've stopped off to get a cup of cup of coffee. Coffee. What you got, Sharon? I just got um, a normal americano white, and I got an americano black. So um, cost of coffee. Yours was a regular three pound. And an extra 50 pence, and you no, get a... 25p, baby. Oh, it's only 25? Yeah, that's what I said. 25 pence, and it's a large. I can't have that, because I've been looking for toilets, see? And I do like the Costa coffee, because yeah. it's a lovely, strong coffee. But you can buy Jara coffee for that. Well, you probably can, Sharon, well, yeah. Well, you can for the two combined. It wouldn't be the same. It'd no. only be cheap. And I've noticed the difference now. I probably have about one coffee a day, to be honest with you. And I'm getting to the stage now where... Instant coffee is just too wishy-washy for me now. I like a strong cup of coffee. We normally have decaf, don't we? Yeah. But I do like a proper good strong cup of coffee, folks. So that's what I've got here anyway. And we're going to collect baby Frank now, people. Yeah, he had a stay over with his uh, granny last night. So we're going to pick, her, uh, pick him up, rather. And then we're going shopping in Tesco's. I got in, as you know, put a, a pair of 34 trousers, or jeans, rather. Uh, so you have recognised him. Oh, here we go. He had shoes on, not Reebok Classics. I Amazing. Know. I choose Jeans, them. he looked lovely. Yeah. You said they fitted properly in all, didn't you? Yeah. Rather than having a baggy arsehole. Yeah, baggy. Or... He's got <laughs> slim legs, Martin, very slim legs. Yeah. And the jeans fitted perfectly. There we go. Anyway, so we're going to pick baby Frank up. We'll see what it's like in uh, Tesco's. We might take you along there. And I still haven't got her jumper. A lot of you have been asking about, did I get her after I burnt her jumper? Technically speaking, she put her hand over across the frame. I was helping frame. you. You asked for help, so it was I, your fault, yeah. baby. You put your help, Michelle, by putting your hand over a, a, a burning flame, but never mind. The tension was there. I don't see it. I'm willing anyway, to put through flames for you. Anyway, they want to see us cooking again, Sharon, outside. I'm all up for it. It's raining, forget and it. And we've also got a new addition, folks, as I said to you. So keep puppy coming. Eh? We've got a puppy coming. No, not a new addition that way. I'm talking oh. about cooking-wise. Anyway, we'll see you a little bit later when we pick baby Frank up. Well, here we are in uh, Tesco's. Tesco's, where I buy my best clothes. Well, we've bought some clothes. I bought a couple of new pairs of jeans there. One's a 34 way shirt and one's a 32. There you go. I'm not sure whether or not I'll fit into it yet. Baby Frank's conned us out of four little cars again, Frank, haven't you? So we ain't getting a lot in here. We're just waiting for our auntie to be uh, picked up. Well, to be seen rather. That's why we're out doing a bit of shopping at the moment. And I'm trying to talk over this background music, which in here is really loud, Sharon, isn't it? So it's not a weekly shop, Sharon, is it? Oh, here we go. What do you mean they're on offer? Oh, here we go, yeah. So these are the 97% pork ones, which were actually very nice. And they're the full-size ones, Sharon, aren't they? Yeah, there's little trenchy Yeah. 
Hang on, it's only them that run off, is it? The Chipolatas? The Chipolatas, well, let's not mess about them, we'll get them. Ten Chipolatas, Sharon. That's the normal ones. And that didn't affect my blood sugar whatsoever, folks. So we won't buy that yet, but, um, is it, Sharon? We've still got a couple of discs left, haven't we? So I've uh, finished the four day fish diet and that got me over my stumbling block of that weight target which I couldn't get over. I'm now down three or four pounds off of that now so I'm not eating the fish every day, all day. A lot of people said that they was concerned about the, the uh, mercury in it, shall. But uh, don't worry about that folks. But I'm just going to have some prawns later on. No, I like the big ones, shall. So I'll have that for lunch and you're making a kebab tonight, aren't you? Yeah. One of your special ones in the... Um, I don't know what I'm doing it in yet. All oh, right, but you're going to cut down the spices because it was a bit too spicy for Charlotte last Still time, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, that's what I want some cheese. Yeah. But... What do you think, Frank? What are you going to have? Hey, eh? Yeah, look. What are you going to have tonight? Not sure? People say you're very good, Frank, when you're out shopping. Have you shown them your cars? Look. Yeah. Show them the purple car. Turn it around. You can't see it. Look that way. What colour's that one? Yeah, what colour? Purple, good boy. There you go. What colour is that one, Frank? What colour is it? Blue. Blue, good boy. Anyway, that's Frank. What are we getting now, Sha? Anything else? I don't know, just passing time now, walking around. Yeah, we're not getting a lot in here, folks. Uh, you didn't quite like the little heck chipolatas, did you? And they I were. Like the Tesco's own sausages. Yeah, and they were very dry, folks. So uh, if you haven't tried them, the plain chicken ones were a little bit bland, weren't they? Yeah. But the other ones were actually very tasty, weren't they? Yeah, but, but it's, it won't bother me if I never had yeah. No, that's right. It's, it's not the sort of thing I don't think I would buy them again, but obviously we would buy the heck 97% pork ones. We did enjoy them. But uh, we still love a butcher's sausage, and again, we'll still be eating a butcher's sausage anyway, so... Yeah, just thought we'd have to bring that one to you, because you might not know what they was like. Now, you can see by what we've had, that they was... A little bit dry for our, for us anyway. So because this was an impromptu impromptu visit, shall to uh, Tesco's, we've had to buy a blinking bag for life again, folks. Look, 175, 150, 175. I wonder what the difference is, shall between that one, 130, and that one for 175. It's a picture of a rabbit. Look, isn't it? That's stronger. Is it stronger? Oh, made for, made for recycle. What's that That's one made of? Protection against the dangers you can't see. I don't know what that means, but... It's an antibacterial bag, there you go. Antibacterial, I've never heard such a thing, Sharon. See, that's the one I would have gone for, but it's too small. Yeah, too small. Copy doggies on it. Of course it has. And uh, coming up shortly in February, Sharon, we're going to be doing the um, a video in uh, our Kasori, probably the, uh, the dual Kasori, mm -hmm. of uh, little treats for dogs. And obviously for our dogs. And uh, we're going to try and think of some um, treats that we can cook up in the Kasori. So look out for that one coming up in February. Yeah, something we've never done before. And I don't know if it's going to stink the blinking place out or watch out. Who knows? Hey. One of them looking at is a peanut butter bars like biscuit biscuits. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, folks. But do keep an eye out for that one. That's I'm going to make sure the peanut butter is suitable for dogs before exactly. I get Exactly, exactly. Anyway, it'd probably have to be one of those organic ones, wouldn't it, I would have thought. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that is coming up. Hey, cars. Hey? Your cars? Where are they? Oh, yeah, Nanny's paid for them. Or well, not paid for them yet, but Nanny's, Nanny's scanned them. Did you put them in the bag? Did you put your things in the bag? Okay. Yeah, you're a good boy, aren't you? People say, such a good boy you are, Frank. Look, look. What? What is it? What are you doing, baby? I think you should get a strong one, but I can't think what one it is I normally get. Who knows? This is a thing that gets me out there, blinking kitchen roll is now. You can get this, um, what's this here, this one here. That's the standard basic one for, I think it's three pounds there, look. Tesco Ultra one, is that right? But then you can come up here and you can get this here, plenty, for seven pound twenty-five for three rolls. Okay. What, mate? What? And it's an amazing price that show, isn't it? You normally buy that online though, don't you? I'll get mine from Amazon, I've got to subscribe and save. Yeah. And it's the big blue blue rose you get, ones. isn't it? Oh it's these ones. These are the ones Sharon gets off Amazon. Or this type, you know, with the, the blue crisscrossing sort of thing.
Who's that, Frank? He's a good boy, Frank. Look, Frank. Look, who's that little boy? Go and touch him. Say hello. hello Say hello. hello. Yeah, he's a good boy, isn't he? Yeah, you're gonna sit down. Good boy. Thank you. Oh, here we go, Shay. You just found that oil, haven't you? Look at the price of it now. Though. Look. I must have brought it when it was nine up. pounds. But that's that bottle, folks. We're in um, Tesco's, as I said. Non-drip And that's that one where you screw the top off and it's got that little pouring spout on it. And I'll tell you what, it does last longer with that. Yeah. So that's where we got it from, people. And then I just fill it up before everyone's on offer. Yeah. So there you go. But unfortunately, it's £9 a bottle. So maybe get the bottle once and that's it then and just keep topping it up with the um, the cheaper stuff. Well, if there, if there is such a thing as cheap olive oil now, shall Anyway, that's where we get it from, folks. Oh, one thing Frank likes to do when we come here, look, is get them little tokens, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. And put it in that little thing there. Look at what you drop. You're going to watch it drop. Oh, look at them all down there. Look at that. Look, there we go. Put it in, Frank. <laughs> Show me don't win that. Well, he's won five cars, Sharon, hasn't he? Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Frank, have you won? Yeah, baby. Well done. Come on in. Off we go. Oh, what? You got what? He can't be wet already, Shay. You've just done it. Oh, no. What? Don't get your finger stuck, will you? Yeah, look, that man's having a go, look. Turn around. Wow. Oh, there you go, Frank. Put oh, some more in. Thank you. How about that? Go on, and in you go, quick. Quick as a lady coming. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, Frank, have you been able to Put me this one. Put me that one, Frank. That's it. Good boy. Well done. That's it. Yeah, look. Put what, what's he won? Anything? No, I don't win anything. You don't win anything. Good boy. <laughs> well done. Has he done one, sure? No, right. Thank you. Well done, Frank. Good boy. Good boy. Look, look. Right, come on in. Off we go, eh? We should get him some bottoms. Why? I don't know why. Oh, they're not. That's what I just said. I thought you just done it, Sharon. I did. Anyway, we're going out to the car, folks, and we're just going to hang about until we pick um, our auntie up. See you in a minute. Hello, everybody. Today is another day. We're still getting the broadband dropping out. It's just that I've got to deal with. They phoned up this morning. They're going to give it another couple of days. Anyway, that's another story. It's lunchtime now. And uh, we've got to use up some old stuff we got in the fridge. So what I've done is we had some of these heck pork chipolatas left over from um, yesterday's meal. And we had this left over, which was the black pudding. Only two discs of that left. So we're going to whack that in the uh, air fryer. As you can see, there's only three, six sausages there. And uh, two discs. So we'll whack that in. So let's put that on for 200 degrees and we'll put that on for 12 minutes and press play. So we're going to be having that and tonight we're going to be having a lovely steak. Isn't that right, Sharon? That's correct. And what are you doing at the moment, baby? Bookwork. You're doing our bookwork, isn't yep. you, for our business? Yes. So while you're doing that, I'm doing the donkey work in the kitchen, people. We've got Project Man out there, my son, making who's a mess making a mess. Let's just take you out here, look. I know, we, I know it's a cooking video, but we just have a little look out here. We've got the polytunnel here, which he used to work in. We've pulled all this stuff out here, look. And uh, that's a bike he's restoring at the moment, which is a TZR125. For those of you uh, who like motorbikes, we've got a row of old lawnmowers here, which we're repairing and doing up. That, that'll come in the near future. And coming in here, I say he normally works in here, but- Retro, look. What? Look at that look, little uh, retro bike there, look, little right, BMX, right. back from the 1990s, I think. I think that was an 80s one I've done a bit of research. Is it? Day 80s, rally. Anyway, coming in here, folks, this is a workshop, or polytunnel, many years ago. I don't know whether it's on Butler's Empire or whether it's on my Retro Restore channel, but I put this up, oh, 2013, I think, something like that. <laughs> so it's been up for nine or ten years, this polytunnel. And we used to grow veg in here, and I've got loads of videos on me doing that. So uh, that's one thing we've done. But then we turned it into a workshop. And um, as you can see recently, he's not been working in here because he's been working in my log cabin. But uh, the, the, the garden's come in here. Look, <laughs> all these weeds have come over the workbench there and everything. Look, oh, he's, he's trying to clear it all out now. And uh, that's what yeah. you're doing, isn't it? Yeah, she's tied up trying to find things. Yeah. A couple of little rare antiques there, people. Those of you who know what motorcycles are, that's an RD125. The one behind it, the red one, I don't think you can just see it in there, that's an RD200. That's mine and Sharon's. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get back in the kitchen, leave him to it, and put a couple of eggs on as well to have with that, I think. 
Right, so over to the frying pan. We've got probably about eight minutes left, so I'm just gonna put these on low, these um, these eggs. So let's just put that on uh, the minimum setting for the moment, which is 500. And I'll just put some um, olive oil in there. I won't put butter in here. I don't really need butter in here to do the eggs, so I um, just like to put a little bit of oil in the pan. Right, let's just drop a couple of eggs in here. Normally I have two eggs, but um, because we're having a nice bit of steak tonight, I want a, an egg on top of my steak. I don't know what it is, folks, but some eggs, they get this tough membrane and you can't separate them, yet some of them are all right. Just drop that in there. Just put that one over that side. Yeah, that one was all right, look. Right, so I'm not going to do no more to them now. I'm just going to stick the lid on and let them just cook nice and slowly. Right, I've decided I'm going to have some um, avocado with mine. I've just taken the pip out of that one, folks. And I'm just going to get a spoon just to uh, remove the avocado. This is the only, we'll call it veg or fruit, whatever, that I eat. Very good saturated fats in there, people. And I'll just hook that out, turn it over. Oh, there's a little bit of bad on the bottom of that one, look. Just take that out of there. There we go just dish that one out as well yeah I'm gonna just use up the avocados I've got folk because I think what I'm actually doing now is going basically full carnivore diet I've read so many testimonials and watched so many people who have had massive health benefits from doing that and I'm experiencing them myself already so um, I'm gonna do it and people say oh do you take extra vitamins well apparently you don't need to people who have done three year studies on themselves and stuff like that have had their blood works done throughout a three year period for example and the doctors can't believe how good their results are after being on the literally just eating meat and drinking water which is basically what I'm doing because I don't have any fizzy drinks anymore I do have the odd coffee which I may cut out yet I'm not too sure but all I have is a uh, green tea that's the only uh, other liquid that I drink all the fizzy pops and stuff like that uh, the diet coats and all that lot all gone now so um and i must say stuff you do forget about because i also had on my feet which i've had for years i've had these verrucas that have been on like the side of my feet and i've had like warts that come up on the side of my fingers there for example and especially the ones on my feet the warts on my feet which have been they're not warts verrucas that have been there for years and i've tried burning them off and all that nothing's worked and they've stayed there and they've been there they're all gone now unbelievable so it's like your body has a clear a clear up of all the ailments that it's got and this is not just me saying this I've heard other people say that I was watching a video last night of someone I'll leave a link in the description just below and watch this person's journey what they've done over a two or three year period and uh, you won't believe it and so many ailments have been cleared up by doing the carnivore diet as I say the first person that I watched said they went to the first page of Google, they Googled so and so, and a whole page of stuff saying it was bad for your health, blah, 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 and they dug a bit deeper, and then they found out all the other stuff, the real stuff about the carnivore diet, folks. So do check it out. It's not just me talking, as I said before, I'm not preaching anything here, I'm just telling you the benefits I found within the first month of doing this basic diet, which is more keto carnivore at the moment, but I'm gonna go full carnivore. There's no two ways about it. Anyway, let's have a look at these sausages. Just open that drawer. Looking very nice indeed. Let's just give them a little bit of a spin over. Colouring up lovely there. Just turn them around for the last two minutes. There we go. And the black pudding can be flipped over. People say, how do you do that without doing the tongs? Well, I've always done it. Let's have a look at them eggs. They shouldn't be too far off now. Hello, one's burst. Look at that. I must have done that. All right, let's put that over there and just turn it up just a tad now. To 800, I think. Oh, no, we go to the 1,000, it. Right, leave that like that. And we'll be dishing up in a second, folks. I'll come back in a minute. This one, for some reason, did uh, frost over. I think what it was, because I started off on the low setting. So there's a little lesson for me. And also, perhaps, for it to poach correctly, I suppose, could put a bit of uh, water in the frying pan as well. But there you go. Never mind. So we'll have a little disc of uh, black pudding there. Three sausages for Sharon. Oh, hello. Like that. They are well cooked, folks. Don't worry about that. And my bit of black pudding. 
and three sausages for me. Let's turn it around that way. One, two, and three. There we go. And that's the good thing about these. You can um, take these liners out afterwards and uh, your air fry is still clean. Look at that, look. Right. Bit of salt and pepper. I'll do Sharon's for her. It's like that. She does like a bit of white pepper, so we'll give her a good bit of that. I like a bit of white pepper as well. Put plenty on. And also a lovely little bit of salt there as well. There we go. Just our little lunch there. Until we've got our lovely steak tonight, which you'll see in a different video. Probably before this one, actually. Right, we're going to enjoy this now. Who knows what we're going to be doing a little bit later on, but let's find out in the rest of this video. See you later, folks. Right, another day, folks. We're just popping down the ragged apron. The uh, chap from uh, Australia's come back over. He uh, turned up with his wife, Marie Collin, from Australia, but unfortunately he's had to come over again because I think his father's died or something. So uh, we did say we'd meet him in the ragged apron. You okay, baby? Let's okay. just show them what we've got in the hallway. Look, apart from Merlin, we've got that coming up pretty soon, folks. We've got that um, 10 ways electric bike which we're going to be reviewing. Beautiful, look at him. He's oh, such what? A... Get in. in you go, go on. Back, in back, you go. Guard back, the house, Merlin. Oh, go on, Shay, you tell him. Mummy loves you. You tell him, baby. Yeah, I locked the door. The other one's laying on the sofa. Hey. Just the other ones, no, what, Dougal? I just had this car bleeding clean, Chow, a few days ago. Look at it already. Yeah, I know. Look, look at it. Filthy people. Look. Right, we've got a bit of paper there, Chow. Someone's birthday, which we, we couldn't do on the day. Go on, who is it, baby? In fact, it's her birthday today. I know actually, it is. Yeah. No, it's not so, today. This yeah. is Sunday, Chow. Yeah. Happy birthday, Pauline, on the 2nd of Feb. Love, John, from Sheppey in Kent. Happy birthday. And I think he's a Chelsea supporter, Sharon. Oh, that's nice. Don't football. like football. <laughs> My favourite era of Chelsea was the uh, 1970s. Peter Osgood, Ron Harris. I only know Drogba. Peter Asman, Peter Vanetti, the goalkeeper. Eddie McCready. Oh, so many different players. I used to know the old team. That was my favourite football team, uh, Chelsea team, back in the day. Anyway, time to get down that ragged apron. Got to pick baby Frank up first, though, from nursery. Well, baby, this is the day before we go to Scotland. Correct. So we're off to Scotland tomorrow, folks, and um, do join us on that little journey. We're going up to see Tracy and Ben. We're going by train. We're going by train this time, yeah. We'll um, obviously vlog the journey and all that, and hopefully it's a 12-hour journey, shall Nine hours. Nine hour journey. So it takes about... The same time in the car, but this time I'm not concentrating all the time. But today, I fancy a little bit of breakfast shell. And I don't want to be cooking indoors. It's quite mild outside. They want to see a bit more outside cooking. Eggs. Off you go then. Oh. I'll be out in a minute. I'm just preparing my veg. Of course you are. Right, I've got my little portable table. <laughs> out of way, Merlin. Let's lock that into place. It's just nice out here. It's mild, you know. Just want to get a bit of outside cooking done while the weather's all right. It's a little bit blowy, but I have got um, a little windshield for my little uh, stove, so I bought one of them, so I want to see if that works as well. So Let's just get them legs fixed in there. Yeah, that wind is picking up now. All right, okay. There's my table. Happy days. Hello, how's this open up? Got my chair. There we go. Bit like Rate My Takeaway set up, isn't it? <laughs> All right, got my little stove. Let's turn that over like that. There we go. Right, okay, so I bought this little thing. It's a bit windy out here, as you can probably see. And uh, this come not so long back, but I've never used it yet because it's brand new. Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong thing. That's a, a folding mini table. I've got that as well. <laughs> I've got so much stuff here, wait there. Right, well, believe it or not, folks, I can't find it. So I'm going to have to try and make do without it. Get away, Merlin. Right, so let's get uh, all set up. Oh, I've got a frying pan. Where's a bloody frying pan? Oh, hello. Hell. Yeah, that looks all right to me. So I will put a bit of uh, oil in there. 
little bit of olive oil to mix with the uh, butter. So to get that pan nice and warm. And today, I've got a little bit of black pudding. And I've got a lovely bit of steak. This is a little bit of ribeye. And where's my egg? I did put an egg there somewhere. Oh, my eggs around the front here. And I've got an egg as well. So that'll be my breakfast today. So, look at this little baby. Oh, I can hear that wind blowing, that flame, people. All right, let's get that in. Oh yeah, lovely. That sounds good. That's the noise I've been wanting to hear. So I have got a little bit of um, butter here, just to go into the pan as well. This is uh, grass-fed Kerrygold butter. Let's put a bit in first, just to get things moving along here. Keep a bit back. Oh, look at that. And uh, hopefully that wind won't disturb me too much. This shield I had goes around here basically. It's a metal shield that sort of encloses it. I mean, I could have put myself more in the corner actually, but um, we're here now, we might as well carry on. <sighs> Do like a bit of outside cooking. And I've got a review video coming up, folks, during this week, I think, of us using not this little cooker, because this is the big problem. When you've got one of these uh, camping stoves, so to speak, you've got problems with like the wind. Well, we've actually got an induction hob uh, a single one which we bought for outside cooking but I've also got this um, power bank which is a 2400 watt power bank and I've already done the video on that where we cook up some stuff on it and um, that video is coming up later on this week do check that one out it, it, it does away with all this blowing out wind and all that sort of stuff no problems whatsoever do check that video out and also these um, gas bottles it's, it's not really it's about probably seven degrees out here at the moment maybe eight degrees I'm not too sure when these bottles are cold, these little gas bottles, even if you've got a new bottle, they don't throw out any pressure at all. But when it's like 21, 22 degrees, this really cooks in no time whatsoever. Because if we used to cook with this little stove in our kitchen a couple of years ago, when the uh, energy crisis was at its peak, when we stopped using our gas cooker. So let's have a little, just have a little look underneath. Is it cooking? Yeah, it's very slow though. It's very slow. Yeah, I was hoping that was going to be searing a bit more than that, but uh, obviously not. Right, well, I'll get it going for a bit longer, and then I'll come back to you when it started uh, doing its stuff. See you in a minute. Right, I've had to move to a slightly different location, folks, out of the wind, but um, I've also put the lid on, and also changed the gas bottle and all, because that was only quarter full, believe it or not. That's made a big difference, putting that lid on. Look at that, look. That's better. Oh, I love that. I love that sound. Look at that. Get that flipped over. That's it. That's what we're looking for. When we cooked the last steaks, me and Sharon, and uh, we had the mushrooms in the pan, a lot of people said, oh, you shouldn't do that. You boiled the steak. Well, we actually seared it first, pretty much like this, in the, the butter in a hot pan. And you could tell that, because when we took it out, if you noticed, it had these brown sear marks around the edge but uh, obviously people don't look properly when they're watching the videos all they see is what they see at the time but uh that's cooking down nicely now I've got, i like my steak medium medium to well done i don't like the more bloody or the redder side of it so um i'm just going to put this lid on and uh cook that for a little longer there's nothing else on this ribeye it's literally just the butter and a tiny little bit of oil in there and it's looking absolutely lovely And you can normally tell by pressing it when it's uh, how you want it. But sometimes what I normally do is I'll put a cut in it and just open it up a little bit, just to have a look if you're unsure. Right, and I think well, while we're letting that cook for a bit longer, let's put the lid back on. I think Sharon's got a few thank yous to give, so uh, let's have a look and see what Sharon's got to say on the thank you front. Thank you. 
And what have you got there, Hang my on, sweetness? I'm just getting my seat. Got to be comfortable, baby. Of course you have. Merlin, get out. Go away, Merlin. You, know, you come this side of me, show, actually. I haven't brought everything out yet. Oh, go on then, baby. You do what you got to do. He She's made us a nice cup of coffee as well, people. He rushes me. I don't rush you, Sharon. I don't rush you. I'll put more coffee over here. You get yourself comfortable, Sharon. I can tell you all the story. Once upon a time, Japanori. once upon a time, there was a bloke cooking outside who didn't have a clue what he was doing. What's a matter? Yeah. Right, what have we got here, Nisha? Right, we've got some thank yous again off my wish list, but also a super chat I've got to thank for is Liam. Thank you very much for your super chat. Thank you, Liam. So what have we got there then, baby? We this... went down the Ragged Apron, didn't we, first of all? Yeah, OK. And uh, we were standing there with Colin from Australia. Yeah, and we got a little yeah. gift there waiting for us from Adam and Tracy. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, we had breakfast on, on, that, on that day, didn't we? Yeah. So thank you very much for that. Didn't expect that whatsoever. This is what we got from the lovely Colin and Marie from Australia. Right, just wait there, Shout. Hold on. Just have a little peep at that. I might have to turn this over while I'm here. Oh, it's looking good, Shout. Now, cooking, <coughs> now it's cooking You've on gas. You've got a plate out, have you? No, don't worry about that. Oh, look at that, look. Can you hear that, Shout? Yeah. That's Smell nearly there. Now. I think I'd better put my black pudding in first, Shout. Hold on. I'll only have one disc on there. Let's just get that one disc in there, Sharon. And I've got my egg, I'll do that in a minute. I don't need the egg in yet, do I? Maybe not? No. Well, let that black pudding cook Yeah, a let bit that first. cook a bit Christ. more first, okay. Right, let's leave that like that. I'll just put that lid on. Right, so I'm back in action there. And what were you saying, baby? Yeah, because we've got some gifts from Colin and Marie from Australia. So she sent me that because she knows I like my cuddly toys. Frank loved that, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. I got it back off him, though. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got in there? We've got... Um, couple of baseball hats which i will be wearing in the summer when i'm driving my car very Thank nice you very much. proper australian one yeah Merlin, whack back. she said it's a proper it's like you know you crack a jack when you get that bag full of goodies and you don't know what's in there yeah. this is what i'm going through and i've got a australian tea towel lovely we need some new tea towels don't we we do oh other mitts superb he does like a windy outdoor food doesn't i know he? i know Charlie. you can hear that wind what souvenir stickers from oh, Australia. Lovely. Nice. If we put that on the back of the car, show, people think we've been to Australia. Boomerang. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, another tea towel. You can never get rid of a boomerang, Shane. It always come no. back. Oh, lovely tea towels. They are lovely tea. In fact, that means we can throw our old blink and grotty ones away. We'll be using them. What's that there? A chippy flavoured salt. Oh. oh. I've never seen that before, Pope. Look, Anchor. Original chicken flavoured salt. What's that? Key ring will be going on my key ring. I like key rings. Australian pen. I'll tell you what, if you had to send this through the post, it cost a fortune. Blimey. Oh, fridge magnet, that'll be going straight oh, on my yeah, fridge. Yeah, we'll do that. That's no problem. Some Tim Tams. Tim now, we can't eat these, unfortunately. Well, I but might try one. Cause yeah, well, you good. can have them as a treat, shall. Look at and, and they're my favourite, to be honest, with your dark chocolate. I've never heard of them. Bit of Vegemite. Yes. God, he's gone mad here. Mind you, don't move your table. You bashing it about. No, that weren't me, baby. It, it might have been the dog. And Merlin, the out. And a bag. Superb, shall I get it? Look, it's oh, the dog, Merlin. see? You blame me for that, didn't you? Well, yeah, because you right. was the last thing. That's why I put my tea, people. I saw that coming. Look, over here. Well, thank well, you very much, no, Colin and Marie. Yeah, much appreciated. And it was lovely to have that little FaceTime with you, Marie. Yeah. Sorry you was at work. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and we did see her, though. And you was on night shift. Of course wow. She was. Right, let me just have a quick look at here, shall I? Put that away, baby. Right, I might need to turn that black pudding over, shall I? Here we go. Spin it round, look. I know it's a metal fork on our new pan, folks. Don't worry about it. Have you might, might have noticed that this is a red one now we've got here. We've got, we've got two. I got this one for camping, so this is purely for me, or us rather, when we're out, out and about. Oh, that steak's done, Sharon. I'm going to put the egg in. Right. I'm going to put the egg in, baby. I can get these two done while you get your egg. Right, here we go, people. Here we go. Oh, hello. I'll put a bit of shell in there. <sighs> novice, stay novice there. No, people. Stay there, I'll get rid of it. You usually put the shell in. I know, the shell. shell, I know. People are shouting at me now. I'll put the shell in, get the egg out with the shell. What, like I just did? Yeah, there you are, done it. Yeah. Right, that's it, fine. I am a novice, shell, but I, I have a go. get back in. And what else have we got here then, baby? And I've got a gift from Beverly P Payne. Thank you very much for all your tips that helped as she's a new air fryer user. Oh, you love a candle, don't you? It smells lovely. Stick Hold on, Shell. Come here. Merlin, out. I'm going to get that coffee. Look, Shell, I've got to take proactive movements here because I've got to put it over there. And um, what, 
Thank you very much. That's fantastic, Bev. We love a candle. I do. Hi, Shane. Mine. Just a little gift from you, from your wish list. As a thank you for all the tips you've been sharing, you've inspired me to get off my backside Ooh. and think better about my health. Thanks again, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you so and much. And she sent us these lovely. Oh, superb. Steak knives. Look at these little babies. Wow. Lovely. They say we're, we're going to have them for indoor show. I'm not going to use them out here. Too right, you're not. Thank you very much. That is fantastic. We've been looking up, looking for some steak knives for ages, yeah. show, haven't we? And that is superb. So thank you, everybody, that buy things off our wish list. And don't forget, people, I can do something for you for free. What's that? Yes, I'm getting you to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. And it doesn't cost you a penny. So how about that? I'm giving back to you to see us on a regular basis. And also, ring that bell. And also, show off, we mentioned it in the last video, there was about 25 people who resubscribed, because we can see it when you subscribe or someone subscribes, 25 people who had been subscribed, and I had another person oh. say, they resubscribed about five or six times in one week, Sharon. Unbelievable. Work that one out. What's that all about? What's YouTube up to? YouTube, stop messing about with a blinking algorithm and stop unsubscribing people. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, let's get on with my cooking outside. I'm getting a bit peckish now. Are you off in now? I'm taking my bits in, But yeah. we're wild camping, Sharon, in the no, garden. No, you are. I'm not eating. Unbelievable. And a, a good tip, which uh, I did know, actually, folks, was um, about cooking the eggs and putting the lid on the frying pan. If you put a little drop of water in there, when it's, obviously, when you put the lid on, that's what steams the egg and gives it the uh, white glaze over the top. But I haven't got any water available here, so I'm just going to flip it over anyway, so... Um, it's good in these pans. So I'll let's get you a plate, shall I? Uh, yeah, get us a plate out, baby. It would help, wouldn't it? It would help, you're correct. So, look at that. Look how they move about in these pans, folks. Look, it's probably a bit too early to turn it over yet, but I'm going to have a go. Put it into the middle of the pan a bit. Look, there we go. Oh, hello. There we go. Look, 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 ready? Oh, bugger it. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Oh, I buggered it, look. I've buggered it, Cher. And I've, I've not broke it, but I've just made it smaller. I like, a look, I like it to look a bit bigger than that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Will I be able to flip that out? No, I'm, I'm dicing with death here, Cher. Don't do that. Look. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, that's it. Now I've turned it back to looking like a sort, sort of an egg again. I think the black pudding's uh, virtually there now. I know the steak's there, so I'm actually going to take... Oh, hello. I'm going to take the steak out, people. Oh, that's lovely. That's done to perfection. Let's get that over there before the dog gets it. Look at that. I'll just pull that black pudding into the middle a little bit more. I do like it a little bit more crispier than this, to be honest with you, but um, I think the wind and the cold is getting to the uh, gas again. Oh, go on, baby. Have yeah, a good clean-up. have your messy table. Fantastic. Oh, look at him, look at the He's looking at that bloody steak. Look, push it to the back. Do you want it, baby? Don't tell him that, shall He'll go for it. Do you want it. me to put the rest on your plate? Eh? What do you mean? Is it cooked? What, the steak? The vat. I'll put it on there for you, because you've got the camera. Yeah, can you, um, just, let me just flip that over. Just flip that over, shall Be careful. Yeah, just, I'll tell you what, get the egg out first, because I think that's done. Go on, out you go. I think I've done it just right, shall Oh, superb. That gas doesn't sound very happy. I know it don't sound happy, shall There we go. And, uh Turn it off, flip that up, and I'm ready, shall. Can you get me some salt out, baby? I've got some salt with that. What, Himalayan pink salt? Yeah, but we're going to be changing, I think it's to Redmond salt pretty soon, Sharon. What? Redmond salt we're going to be changing to. Why, what's that? It's got all the, uh, I know pink Himalayan salt's okay, but apparently Redmond's is the one when you're on the carnivore diet. It's probably a load of crap, but oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm going for it anyway. Yeah, I'm so pleased with that new frying pan, people. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, let's move out here again, shall we? We'll do like a rate my takeaway, look. Well, rate my own cooking, basically. Oh! There we go. There we go. So what we got here from Butler's Calf, come a bit nearer, baby. What we got here from Butler's Calf is we've got a lovely bit of ribeye steak. We've got a little disc of, uh, oh, it's got air on it, shall we? Little bit of a... Uh, that's what you get with that. That's living in the wild, Sharon, isn't it? Of course it is. Mind Black pudding. Look at, look at that garden. It looks like the wild. Well, of course it does, Sharon. Oh, well, I've over, you've overcooked the eggs, yeah. No, I haven't. You have. All right, we'll let it go then. All right, let's put a bit of the old uh, bit of salt on that. There's nothing on this. There's no Maggie seasoning, Sharon, on this steak. 
We'll take a bit of that end bit off, look. Now, you like it well done. Do you want to try a bit? Go on, I know you do. Go on, tell me what that's like. I know you like it well done. Every bite's fantastic. It is fantastic, mm. isn't it? I've got a bit of fat as well, so I'm very oh, happy. I know, I'll give you that. I know, mm. there you go. Right, well, I want the fat the other end as well, shall because being a carnivore for, what's the date today? Four days now. All I'm eating is meat and fish and eggs. Full metal jacket. So there you go, folks. That was my little garden cooking. We've got a lot more to that to come as, as the weather gets better. So I hope you're going stick, to stick around and be tuned for that one. So we've got a little uh, anniversary to uh, celebrate for someone, shall It's Janet and Barry Smith. A happy 40th wedding anniversary on the 4th of Feb. We're up to our 40th year this year as well. Which so is welcome. today, Sharon. It's the 4th, yeah. 4th of Feb today. So happy wedding anniversary to you two as well. Thank you very much, folks. Don't forget to check out our other videos. We've got loads of uh, daily cooking videos at the moment. I'm really pushing the boat out, trying to keep you entertained by doing extra daily videos so that you can see what we're cooking on a daily basis, which, I, as, as you probably know, I've lost a stone in weight now, and I'm continuing now. I've done the first month of January. That was sort of keto-ish. And this month now I've started on the uh, carnivore diet. And uh, if you want to see our new results, go keep watching the videos, keep tuned. And also watch our Sunday vlogs and also our vlogs during this week because we'll be going up to Scotland, as we said, and uh, we'll be bringing you some more stuff from Scotland there. Having lots of fun with Tracy and Ben and the kids up there. Oh my God, he loves bringing me out in the cold. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye yeah, for now. Bye, bye. <laughs> Merlin. What? You've got a bit coming in at the last bit. Of course he has. See you later, folks. Bye.